The New Party was a political party briefly active in the United Kingdom in the early 1930s. It was formed by Sir Oswald Mosley, an MP who had belonged to both the Conservative and Labour parties, quitting Labour after its 1930 conference narrowly rejected his Mosley Memorandum, a document he had written outlining how he would deal with the problem of unemployment. Topic: <laughs> Mosley Memorandum. On 6 December 1930, Mosley published an expanded version of the "'Mosley Memorandum", which was signed by Mosley, his wife and fellow Labour MP Lady Cynthia and fifteen other Labour MPs, Oliver Baldwin, Joseph Beatty, Anurin Bevan, W. J. Brown, William Cove, Robert Forgan, J. F. Horobin, James Lovett Fraser, John McGovern, John James McShane, Frank Markham, H. T. Muggeridge, Morgan Phillips Price, Charles Simmons, and John Strachey. It was also signed by A. J. Cook, General Secretary of the Miners' Federation. <laughs> Founding the new party On 28 February 1931 Mosley resigned from the Labour Party, launching the new party the following day. The party was formed from six of the Labour MPs who signed the Mosley Manifesto Mosley and his wife, Baldwin, Brown, Forgan and Strachey, although two Baldwin and Brown resigned membership after a day and sat in the House of Commons as independent MPs, Strachey resigned in June. The party received £50,000 funding from Lord Nuffield and launched a magazine called Action, edited by Harold Nicholson. Mosley also set up a party militia, the Biff Boys. Led by the All England rugby captain Peter Howard, the new party's first electoral contest was at the Ashton under Line by election in April 1931. The candidate was Alan Young, and his election agent was Wilfred Risden. With a threadbare organisation, they polled some 16% of the vote, splitting the Labour vote and allowing a Conservative to be returned to the Commons. Two more MPs joined the new party later in 1931 W.E.D. Allen from the Unionists and Cecil Dudgeon from the Liberals. At the 1931 general election the new party contested 25 seats, but only Mosley himself, and a candidate in Mirtha Tidville where they stood against only the Labour Party pulled a decent number of votes, and three candidates lost their deposits. Policies <inaudible> 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 The new party program was built on the Mosley Memorandum, advocating a national policy to meet the economic crisis that the Great Depression had brought. Mosley's desire for complete control of policy making decisions in the new party led many members to resign membership. He favoured granting wide ranging powers to the government, with only general control by parliament and creating a five member cabinet without specific portfolio, similar to the war cabinet adopted during the First World War. His economic strategy broadly followed Keynesian thinking and suggested widespread investment into housing to provide work and improve housing standards overall, while also supporting protectionism with proposals for high tariffs walls. <laughs> Demise Following the election Mosley toured Europe and became convinced of the virtues of fascism. Gradually, the new party became more authoritarian, with parts of it notably its youth movement NUPA adopting overtly fascist thinking. The new party's sharp turn to the right led previous supporters such as John Strachey and Harold Nicholson to leave it. In 1932 Mosley united most of the various fascist organisations in the UK, forming the British Union of Fascists, into which the new party subsumed itself. An unrelated new party was launched in Britain in 2003. Election results By-elections, 1929–1931 1931 UK general election Footnotes <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: Bibliography. Benwick R. The Fascist Movement in Britain. Dorrell, Stephen, Blackshirt, Viking Publishing, ISBN 0 670 86999 6. Mandel W. F. The New Party. Historical Studies. Australia and New Zealand, Vol. 12. Pugh, Martin, Hurrah for the Blackshirts, Fascists and Fascism in Britain Between the Wars, Random House, 2005, ISBN 0 224 06439 8. Skidelsky, R. The Problem of Mosley. Why a Fascist Failed. Encounter 1969 33, No. 192, pp 77 88, online. Robert Skidelsky. Oswald Mosley, The Standard Scholarly Biography. Worley, Matthew. Oswald Mosley and the New Party, Palgrave Macmillan, 2010, ISBN 978 0 230 20697 7. Topic: Primary Sources. Mosley Oswald, A National Policy, 1931. 